morning everyone. It's wet and pissy. But still, I'm allowed to go fishing. So, I'm gonna hit a series of small ponds. See how they react this morning. Hello? Hey, morning, how you doing? Not too bad, how are you? Not too bad, I'm all packed up. I'm still undecided. Um, are you there yet? Yeah, I'm here. I'm taking the pontoon out of time. Ah, great, great. So, oh, yeah. I can come a bit late so I don't have to get near you. Yeah, yeah, no problem. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, is it not too windy on it? No, it's grand. Uh, when you're walking down to the water, the wind's blowing down towards the island as well. That's generally the way I like it to uh, yeah, yeah. go on to. So. Alright, see you in a minute, dude. Good luck. Usual. I'm fishing my 10 weights today. My bandit. I'm going to start with an intermediate line. Yeah, big. Big room. Typical spring day in Ireland. At least the temperature are getting a bit mild. Oh, it's pissing wet. Just a nice breeze from the south. But that's it, 20, 25k. Water is at 7 degrees. I'm just crossing the lake to find a good spot. I'm doing a little bit of slow troll. With an intermediate line, we're at five meters deep now. I doubt they're here now, uh, in the middle of the lake. But we're gonna visit a couple of nice breaks. And uh, hopefully we'll, we'll find a few fish active. It's a little bit harder when you fish these bigger locks with, with a float tube. You're not as mobile as what you would like to be. Uh, first impression of the of the Decathlon float tubes really comfortable sitting fairly high in the water uh, just I wish there's be a, there'd be a little bit more room I'm used to my pontoon so it takes a while to get everything fitted on including my big hours but uh, they're really really comfy and super light to transport really really light Oh, there's a big hatch of midges being eaten alive here. I'm trying to fish close to the reed beds, even right inside the reed beds. I fished a bait, I thought there would be some fish moving, but absolutely nothing this morning. So I'm gonna walk this, this reed bed back up to the car and I'm probably gonna change venue because this is an absolute ball breaker. Finally, after all this time, we got one fish. Nothing big, but we got a fish. Oh man, this one was a hard gut. This one's got some battle scars. Yeah, you see. Look at the spots. They're spawning at the moment. The scarred. We've got these white spots. This is and look where he's hooked. Just on the just on the lip. Oh thank you. <laughs> that first venue was a complete ball breaker. Um, only managed one jack, as you see. Uh, I kind of, 
Uh, I was expecting that. It's a, it's a bigger lock. I don't think pikes have spawned in the in the in these big locks. So I'm gonna try my original ID. Go back to a smaller smaller pond where I'm pretty sure they finished spawning in those. So we should hopefully we'll get we'll get a few more fish because it's really really quiet at the moment. Um, but it was good to see a mate. Um, been two weeks I haven't seen a friend so it was nice to catch up even with a distance uh, so he's gone to fish another lake uh, but I'm going back to my original plan this morning it's coming up to one o'clock in the afternoon so I still have a few hours to fish All right, I'm after crossing the lake. I needed to go through a little drain and I wanted to clear a bit, fish the entrance of that drain just in case. And surprise, surprise, here's one. I was just guarding the entrance. Uh, oh, look at that. Uh, You go buddy. It's not you that I want. Now because I don't know if they're finished spawning. If you see I'm not using a net today. I'm using the sling here. So if I do get a big hen and she's still full we can put her in here and minimize all manipulation of the fish. The less you touch them, the better when they are like that. But I'm hoping to find that they have finished spawning. This was good because this small jack was well munched on. He had no more of those white, the white spots, as we call it in French, les boutons de nos, nuptial spots. So hopefully they finished. Just have to find the nest. Where are they? Now that was disappointing. Went all around, fished the middle. It's not a deep, deep spot. It's a three meters max. Lots of weeds. I thought it'd be the perfect spot, but I only managed to miss one little jack. That's it. So back out to the to the other lake. I'll try again. It's uh, the pike are keeping socially distant. They don't have to. Uh, just moving into the shadows to, to try to go for a pee uh, and look. That's what happened after after they spawn. They, they hit each other so hard. They, they bite each other. And some some don't make it. Better to see a little jack not making it than a big than a big girl. But they have been busy here. 
and I cannot find where they've gone. They're not on the spawning ground, they have moved, I don't know, maybe back in the jeep because it's still a bit cool. been not a tough day. Uh, I had two small jacks. I missed about half a dozen little nips again. But uh, I think things are on the up. The, the, it's getting milder. Uh, the pikes are starting to move a bit. No big fish, so just wait for the to nail a big girl. But it's good to be out. I mean, it's so peaceful at the moment that there's very little car traffic, no airplanes, I mean the skies are so quiet. Uh, just want to wish everyone the best, uh, not easy, but uh, don't know, we'll see how, how the situation evolves. It's a very really a, a day, day after day type of situation, so uh, we'll see what happens next. I'll keep doing these little vlogs. Uh, pour mes amis français, bon courage. Uh, <laughs> et puis dites-vous que cette année on a une fraye qui est magnifique. Les eaux sont très hautes. Ça a frayé de partout. Il n'y a aucun pêcheur pour embêter les poissons. Donc uh, l'année prochaine, quand vous reviendrez, on devra avoir un bon, un bon stock bien frais pour vous. Ok, everyone, take care. And I'll see you for the next one. I'm gonna keep on fishing all the way back to the car and hopefully I'll get something. If not, I'll see you at the next vlog. Thanks for watching. Bye.